think F equals MA is the most important equation in the entire universe, and here's why. Because in 1665, when Sir Isaac Newton was on his way from Cambridge, he stopped under an apple tree and sat, and he watched an apple fall from that apple tree. And then he looked up and he saw the moon coming up and he thought, hmm, if an apple falls, can the moon fall? And the answer was yes, yes it could. But he didn't know that. And the math of his time was too simple for him to solve that problem. So he had to invent a new type of math, calculus, the math of the big and the small, in order just to find those two equations just to find the answer to that question and he found the answer in the universal law of gravity and the most important equation in all of physics f equals ma now could you tell me what that is automobile can you tell me why it exists e equals mc squared f equals ma it's engines run on f equals ma it's wheels run on f equals ma F equals MA is the most important equation in the world, and here's why. So, it's 1665, right? Sir Isaac Newton is coming on his way from Cambridge, and he stops under an apple tree. And he sees an apple fall. Then he looks up at the side. He sees a moon coming up. And he thinks, hmm, if an apple falls, can the moon fall? But the answer was yes, yes it could. But he couldn't solve that problem with the math of his time. It was too basic. So, he had to invent a new math. Calculus, the math of the big and the small, the infinitesimal and the infinite. And using that math, he was able to derive the universal law of gravity, but more importantly, F equals MA, which is the most important law in the entire universe, led directly to the Industrial Revolution. Now, you, sir, can you tell me what that thing is? Car. That's a light. That's a lamp, genius. You know why it runs? F equals MA. Now, can you tell me, for example, Oh, uh, what that is? Car. It's engines run on F equals MA. It's wheels run on F equals MA. It's lights run on F equals MA. But it's GPS runs on equals MC squared, right? Yeah, but why can't you use a map? Allow me to tell you a short story. Are you ready? Sure. In the summer of 1905, a young Swiss patent clerk by the name of Albert Einstein revolutionized our entire understanding of the cosmos Understand. by writing a one-inch equation. E equals mc squared. That single equation told us that mass could be converted into energy and energy could be converted into mass. That was the equation that told us that atomic bombs and hydrogen bombs are possible. That was the equation that led the way to uranium-235 being exploded over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That was the equation that led to the modern global positioning system that leads billions of cars around uh, navigating tunnels and roads every single day. Without e equals mc squared, you could not get anywhere and you would still be in the middle of World War II. I don't think so, because in the middle of World War II, sure, it would have taken a lot more effort to invade Japan instead of just using those bombs. But it would have ended at some point. So, we would not be in the midst of World War II. And perhaps the Cold War would have never happened if e equals mc squared had never existed. Because, I mean, there would be no mutually assured destruction, no one would be piling up for an arms race, and the world would never end because we wouldn't have tools powerful enough to end it. Wow, your viewpoint convinces me that you suffer from a deep misconception. Allow me to explain. Even though E equals MC squared led directly to the development of the atomic bomb, that doesn't mean that it would lead to war. In fact, E equals MC squared stopped war. Seems we disagree. <laughs> okay, fine. About your whole GPS map argument, let's call in a real driver. Wait, why are you saying argument? I already have the correct viewpoint. No. This is a okay, debate. Let's call a real driver to see if they use a map or a GPS. Do you use a GPS or a map most of the time? When I use map, I never find the destination. When I use GPS, I find the destination. Oh, come on! Hey, buddy, if you really think World War III would have happened without nuclear bombs, we would not have the technology for World War III 
without F equals MA. We wouldn't have the technology to do anything in medicine, engineering. Your house would fall apart if it wasn't for F equals MA. None of the trees or life would exist if we didn't have F equals MA. But if E equals MT squared never happened, we'd probably be fighting a few more wars. Maybe we'd ha have to use maps instead of GPS. But is that more of a disconvenience than all of life dying around you? Your house collapsing? Your wheels breaking? Your guns malfunctioning? Is that really more of a crisis if you have to use a map instead of a GPS? You completely changed my viewpoint. I know that they're one and the same. Without F equals MA, there would be no equals MC squared. Without equals MC squared, there would be no F equals MA.